the topic of today is a bird that is very prominent in our uh, parking lot right now. And uh, a lot of people are seeing it flitting around and hearing it. It's very chattery. And uh, people wonder, what is that bird is out there in the parking lot? Um, it is the Western Kingbird. Um, and by name, uh, we have two kingbirds in our area, the Eastern Kingbird and the Western Kingbird. This is the Western Kingbird. And that bird, the, the Western Kingbird, is um, kind of, I want to say, it, it's a newbie to our area. When I moved here in uh, 1992, working for the Conservation Department, I was getting lots of phone calls uh, not lots of phone calls, but people going, you know, there's this bird I've never seen before. And uh, and people would go, want to go see uh, Western Kingbird when they were spotted in, in the Kansas City area because it was a very new bird. It's a Western species, as the name tends to indicate. But range expansion has led that bird to uh, our area, come in our area. And then now they're actually quite common uh, nesters all through uh, the Kansas City area. Uh, John Burwell, years ago, said to me, you ever notice how those Western Kingbirds nest behind power transformers? And sure enough, he's I, I, I was like at the time I was going, oh, I hadn't really thought of that. But they do. They tend to nest. They, 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 whenever you see a power uh, transformer up on a pole, and you'll see this yellow-bellied bird sitting on the power line near it, and their nest will be built behind the power transformer. Why? I don't know. But that's one of the places they do nest. Now, in our parking lot, they're nesting in the trees, uh, one of the Bradford pear trees right outside of the Platte Valley Bank uh, front door, which is, you know, right across our parking lot. And they are very vocal and they are very uh, active. They, uh, they're they one of the masters of catching flying insects. Uh, they are, it's called aerial hawking. Uh, they fly out and they catch bugs out of midair and they fly and land back on the perch and a lot of times they'll beat it on the, uh, the, the limb or the power line and then they'll, they'll swallow it. Um, and they, uh, they're they very efficient, very good at what they do. The name Kingbird uh, supposedly comes from their take charge attitude, their take charge nature. And they are, uh, they, you know, very stately looking. And, and they, <laughs> the Kingbirds as a whole, uh, the other member of that group, uh, other than the Eastern Kingbird, is actually the scissor tail flycatcher. Um, the, those three birds are very w uh, famous for chasing larger birds. I think... Um, we had, didn't we feature a picture? Where was that? There it is. We had, I did a whole program on mobbing uh, small birds chasing larger birds like hawks and crows um, and, 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 and owls, things like that. Uh, well, the kingbirds are very famous for being one of those mobbing birds where they, they're not scared of those bigger birds and they chase them and even land on their backs and you know, they pull a feather out of their back occasionally and things like that. So the kingbirds, that's part of their name is where they get that from. So the, uh, the western kingbird, bright yellow belly, gray head. Um, they also have a black tail. And in this picture, I don't know how well it shows up on, on video, but they have a thin white outer f tail feather on each side of their tail. And that you usually don't see unless they flare that tail in flight and you might catch that white outer tail feather. But um, they are, like I said, they're, they're becoming more common in, in our, our areas and, and especially in the urban areas. I see them a lot around tennis courts. I see them uh, at baseball fields. Uh, the Royal Stadium have, have a famous pair now that if you go to the Royals game, you'll see Western Kingbirds on the guy wires that are running down uh, in the stadium and they fly out and catch bugs all during the game. They're out there. If the game goes extra innings and you're up till midnight, those kingbirds are up there around those lights uh, snatching flying insects all over. I know uh, a few years ago, one of them actually landed on home plate during the game, and uh, the, the announcers were talking about it, and one of them said, well, I think that's a meadowlark. And the other one said, why a meadowlark? Said, because meadowlarks have yellow breasts. So I wanted to call in, but I didn't. I just let it go. But it is a western kingbird for sure. And uh, they, it's a... If you're not in the parking lot to see this one, you go to the Royals game, take your binoculars with you. You'll get to watch one flying around the Royal Stadium a lot while, while you're at the game. So they're very, very cool birds. Um, they are uh, uh, one that considered one of the more beneficial birds uh, in our area because the, uh, they do eat a lot of insects that are considered harmful for uh, to the environment. So 
they are a very, very welcome Orkin men of the bird world. So we like that. Um, they, I, what we'll do is we'll end up doing a program on the Eastern Kingbird probably uh, in the future. But uh, uh, you come by the store, but sit here in the parking lot and just watch. You roll down your windows or get out of the car and you'll hear them chatter. You'll see them come flying by. They'll land up on the power poles. They'll land up on that little tree over there by the bank. And you'll get a good look at him. So you get a chance to, to see a western kingbird. If you've not had a chance to, to study one up close, this is a great opportunity to do that. So um, great idea for a program. Send in more, if you will. And thanks for, of course, supporting us. Give us a like. Give us a share. And until then, we'll talk words.